Ronnie, congratulations on your graduation. Thank you. And could you please tell us about a bit about yourself and what you're looking to do after graduation? Right. So I, I just I'm a recent graduate, and it was always my plan because you know it was only three years that I was here, and it was it was relatively short. So I didn't feel like I get got enough substantial or fundamental experience, you know, before entering the workforce. So I always wanted to take a year off. I didn't get that chance um, before I entered university, so I'm taking it now. You know, I'm taking a chance, um, taking an opportunity to, to travel a little bit, um, to work on you know, refining some skills that I left untouched, like my Mandarin. Um, you know, meeting with friends, talking about new ideas, trends, business ideas yeah, um, that I hopefully could pursue in the future. You know, I think next year, um, in 2016, I'm looking to get a little bit more institutional experience, you know, work for a private company for a while, you know, learn the ropes, you know, start from the bottom and work my way up. And eventually, I hope to be my own boss, you know, an aspiring entrepreneur, just like many people today. Right. I've heard you're interested in investing in some interesting businesses. So what kind of businesses are you looking to invest in? Well, I mean, I think it's always with me. It's always case by case. Um, you know, I'll evaluate as it comes. But I see, you know, I, I try to ride the wave with the trend. So right now, I, I'm, I'm big on fintech. Um, you know, it, I think we're going to see a shift, you know, ever since 2008. You know, whereas you know, the market crashed and bankers became villains, um, we're going to you know there's been a big vacuum here for for reform, and we're going to see a lot more financial democratization, and technology is going to play a big part in that. So we're going to see a lot more you know P2P services like like lending, you know, getting loans instead of going to a bank and putting down heavy debt and collateral, going straight to a private company, um, investment crowdfunding, which is one of the things I'm trying to work on right now. I think that's going to be a big thing as well. So I'm, I'm really looking at, you know, I think fintech is big, especially here in Hong Kong, because finance is such a big part of what we do, financial services. So, I mean, I'm just going to establish, look at trends and look at companies, you know, case by case before I make decisions. Mm -hmm. So, um for now, you've met your business partner, Sam. Can I call him your business partner? Uh, well, <laughs> hopefully, yes. <laughs> Future business partner. Yeah. Yeah. So do you think the HKU community is a good place for people to meet their future business partners? Well, absolutely. I mean, that's what the college experience is about. I'd argue that that is exactly what the college experience is about. It's, it's meeting that, that person in your life, that business partner, that friend that you're going to you know, be able to, to, to you know, you know, start something with in, in the future. You know, I think education for me is, you know, now, especially now, especially students' mindsets coming from the States, you know, places like Stanford and stuff where people aren't even graduating anymore. They're just dropping out, starting businesses. So I think Hong Kong, you know, uh, you know we're, quite, we're, we're quite a novice in this area. And in the next few years, I think it's going to pick up. You know, people are going to start leaving school. Uh, they're going to start starting their own businesses. They're gonna, some are going to succeed and become big. Some are going to fail. You know, it's gonna, but I do think the overall trend is, you know, more and more Hong Kong U is going to play a big part in, you know, finance and startups. Right, so if an aspiring entrepreneur comes to you and he wants you to cash in on his business, what kind of traits does he have to have for you to find him attractive? Well, that's a good question. I think um, first and foremost, I, I, would, I, I wanna know how much he knows about what he's talking about. Um, and I'm not gonna know everything that he's talking about either. So you know, when I meet him, and I finish meeting him, it's not going to be the end. I'm going to go back and do my own research. You know, did he, does he really know what he's talking about? What do other people I know that are in this, what do they think of it before making a judgment on that? Also, I think it's, um, it's, it's, it's sincerity. I think uh, um, when you meet people, when, it, it's, it's, uh, when you meet people who pr think that they know it all or, or you know, say, oh, we have no competitors or you know, we're the first in this, uh, I, I have a bit of an aversion to that. I, I prefer people with a learning mindset, a growing mindset who says, these are the challenges, these are how we're going to tackle them. Whether we're going to whether we're going to overcome them or not, that's you know that remains to be seen. But the fact is, you know, here are the things that are going to inhibit us from getting here. But here are how we're going to try and offset that. You know, I'm going to look for people with you know who think holistically instead of you know with 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 shutters on. You know, straight ahead. This is where we're going, and that's it. Right. So I guess we just have to all keep learning and stay curious. Right? Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. Thank absolutely. you for joining us Thank today, you Ronnie.